Hello, 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 and welcome, my Sagittarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this new moon in Sagittarius, your new moon, to the full moon next in Cancer, December 2020. I'm your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive, President of Drawing the Circle Productions, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angel of Lions, friend to Sagittarius. This is all over the world. But you can call me now. Hi. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Oh, good. Oh, it is a cold, rainy day here at Holbrook, Long Island, at the home office of Drawing the Circle Productions. A little slow and steady wins the race. This is Dark Moon and Scorpio right now when I'm doing this because we're building up to that Sagittarius. I should say, waning down to that Sagittarius moon. Uh, so, uh, so let's get open this. Look, we're looking at a what do I need read. It's a six card draw, six different decks, three oracles, two tarot decks, and one healing system I'm using this time. My standard uh, thing, but we're adding a new deck this time, the Crystal Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. Um, so I'm really enjoying these. These are fun for me. I know they don't get as many <laughs> views and likes as like, you know, the soulmate raids and the, the, the relationship stuff, but this is more important in a way. This is like really looking at a specific time period, what you need uh, for your own path, for your own healing, or to deal with any situation that might show up can be about anything. Uh, so more general, and remember it is a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, uh, and check your other signs. These are shorter than the usual reads that I do. With the holidays ahead of me, I don't know how many extended readings I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be traveling a bit, um, but that's that's next week. <laughs> be here now. Stay in the present moment. Follow your breath, right? See how this how this feels in your energy system. That's what resonation means, not what you like and what you don't like. <laughs> Please, if everything I liked resonated, I would <laughs> be in a very different world. And maybe am uh, with the quantum. So let's get up in this gig. Uh, all the decks that I read are in the description box below. Um, and let's just do this. Here we go. Take a nice deep breath. <sighs> I've been building up to this all morning. <laughs> and now afternoon. It took me a while. Dark moon and Scorpio to get my energy up. Prayer and meditation and Wim Hof breathing, breathing and and all that. So here we go. We're going to start with the healing with the angels oracle. What is the angel you most need to work with? This, oh, by the way, new moon in Sagittarius, 11, 17 a.m. It is an eclipse. It's a new moon on, new moon on Mondays. Light your fire, dance through the nights, call Duran Duran, wake up Simon Laban <laughs> on December 14th. And we're looking um, at the waxing moon, uh, the two-week period until December 29th when the moon is full in Cancer, uh, 528. Hey, and we'll be doing something for that full moon for sure that night before, which I guess would be the 28th. Look, I did math. Cool. Yeah. All right. That's it. <laughs> that was the only last piece of expository information I had to, to, to put out there. So here we go. Breathe. Because Sagittarius energy, ninth house energy is so much fun. So please, my angels of fire. <laughs> and the sign of Sagittarius, the Mikaelites, please, can I have one card in clarity from the legions of Archangel Michael for the Sagittarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This new moon in Sagittarius, their new moon, which goes void, of course, at the same time it eclipses and goes new, but there you have it, to the waxing of the full moon in Cancer, December 2020. Who's the angel they most need to work with? Retreat. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Couldn't be a better time, right? Even though it's a waxing moon to pull, uh, yes, yeah, which would be building, right? Growing, expanding, evolving. The angel of retreat is talking about you pulling in, pulling back. Um, a tactical retreat, right? You know, like retreat isn't defeat if it's um, the right move, right? And, you know, Sagittarians, you know, as hunters, right? Because you're the hunters of the Zodiac. That, you know, sometimes your prey <laughs> needs to know you're not there, right? So you need to pull back and perceive and see things from another perspective, another angle with the bow and arrow, right? So we'll see what that is in reference to now with our second, that's our first oracle. Here's our second oracle, the crystal oracle, Tony Carmine Salerno. Salerno, I have a bunch of uh, his decks and a bunch of decks from Blue Angel Publishing. Now I'm not affiliated with them, but I really like their work. I like their artwork. I like their books because when I got this at... Um, 
uh, the magic moon in Saratoga Springs visiting my family. It's a long story. I always drop in to see Veronica at uh, the magic moon on Fila Street, P H I L A, Fila Street, right? Yeah, Fila Street in Saratoga Springs. I was like, oh, this will be cute. And then I opened it and I was like, this is really deep. So let's do this. I dedicated it to Archangel Ariel, my personal Archangelic lineage, Archangels of Earth, right? Uh, nature. She is the Archangel of Lions. Mark, you get it. Breathe. I love her. She loves me. <laughs> Here we go. My beloved Archangel Ariel, the Archangel of Lions, please, one card in clarity. What is the perfect crystal oracle message? Either the stone they're supposed to work with, my Sagittarians, or maybe just the message in the book, or both, right? There's really only three options there. What is the perfect crystal oracle for them, my beloved Archangel Ariel, for this uh, new moon in Sagittarius? There it is, to full moon next in Cancer 2020. Oh, Amber. <laughs> Amber heard. I heard. Did Amber heard? Is that what Amber heard? I know. All that underwater stuff. Anyway, um, Amber, uh, transparency. That's interesting with a retreat card. Calm, purification, and creativity. Look, I, 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 Amber's not my stone. I have like one or two pieces of it. I don't really work with it. But in the craft, it's a really great big deal, uh, especially Amber and Jet, the stone jet. Um, an issue that is causing tension and friction in your life will soon erupt and come to a head. See what I mean? Like, this is like no shit. I like this Oracle uh, deck a lot. You are being urged to stay calm during this emotionally charged event. Express how you feel, but don't be drawn in to saying things you don't mean. In other words, it's saying call to the angel of retreat. retreat. What would the healing angel of retreat the function, right? As a healer or angel. It would say, well, let's pull back, honey. That you could feel that. You could feel it fully, but you don't need to voice it at the person because chances are it has very little to do with them. Uh, right? Our own emotional stuff that's pent up during uh, 2020 alone. Uh, this event is in fact a blessing. One that is perhaps well overdue. Uh, though uh, through it, you will really, uh, wow, can't read today. Through it, you will realize where you stand and how others truly feel. It goes on. As the air clears, you will uncover a hidden agenda Fuck. and find creative ways of handling this type of situation in the future. Stay calm and don't allow yourself to be dragged further into chaos by others. You will emerge from this situation feeling purified of all the negative emotions and thoughts that have weighed you down recently. Trust and remember, this event is a blessing, right? So it sounds like a bit of a crucible moment, right? A little bit of transformation by fire, your fire sign, right? But that you have to pull back, right? That, you, that it is so important that when our nervous systems get inflamed and other people's nervous systems get inflamed, how do we know that, right? They're tired, they're cranky, they're angry, they're rage, rageful, they're wrathful, you know, there's a scale of heat, of temperature, right? You back off, you cool down. Now you don't have to bypass those emotions, but retreat says go in and like feel that stuff and use a creative way, particularly if it is anger, um, but it also feels like there's some deception that's going to be revealed here. If I got that right, a, what, I forget the words they said there, but it was sort of like a, a hidden agenda or something, which is very element of fire. So now let's get some tarot, right? We've got two oracles down. Let's get some narrative here. We're going to use Daughters of the Moon Tarot to see what you need to be aware of inside of yourself. To me, I call them the goddesses because that's how they appear to me. Um, but they're the divine feminine. They're the yin dynamic after the universal energy, right? So uh, let's see what my goddesses, our goddesses, wherever you want to see it, I don't care. The Divine Mother, whatever that was for you. One light, infinite lenses. I have that vision come to me when I was 19 years old, I think, maybe even younger. Breathe. Oh, mysticism for fun and profit. My goddesses of fire, the sign of Sagittarius, please. One card in clarity. For the Sagittarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, for this new moon in Sagittarius, their full moon to full moon next. In uh, Cancer, we got the Angel of Retreat, the Healing Angel, like so like healing through retreating. Uh, they need to call on that angel, and they need to work with Amber, at least that idea of purification and clarity, right? 
perhaps retreating a little bit to to allow this situation for uh, you know it does feel like it because amber is such a firestone firestone <laughs> It's a little personal some other time. Uh, 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 so there might be some rah, 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 going on here, like a little rah, 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 rah. So please, my goddesses, what do they need to be aware of inside of themselves, this new moon to full moon next? All right, good, the Virgo card. Now I'm a Virgo, so I could talk about this for fucking days. Uh, the Virgo Lada here, she's so cool, right? Maiden of Pentacles, so Knight of Pentacles in this deck. So inside of you, this is very much about crossing your legs, <laughs> crossing your legs. Uh, sixth house, occupation and healing, service, right? And your health. So what are you occupied with in this situation? The Zeus totem flew off my hand. There we go. Uh, uh, he's got, we've got two of them on now. <laughs> Extra lightning power for you today, right? So what you, what you are occupied with mentally, remember Virgo is uh, ruled by Mercury, a, an air planet, right? So this could be in your thoughts. The, this position is all about heart, third, third eye and crown, the end stuff, right? So, uh, you know, guard your thoughts, but have them, right? Whatever is going on inside of you, there's a healing, but it would make sense that you need to retreat to occupy yourself with your own healing. I mean, that is very Virgo. It's like, I am a Virgo <laughs> when I get inflamed. Well, I'm also Mars conjunctly arising. So I either explode and then it's over, or I do more my Pisces moon stuff. I'll go within, I'll, I'll shut everything off. I'll shut everything down. It's been dark moon, the darkest dark moon of the year, because we're right before Yule. It's a long story. Um, so to purify, Virgo is the filter uh, of the zodiac. It's the intestines, right? The immutable earth, sand, and it's the most ancient form of filtration, right? You'd put the water through a thing of sand to, I don't know, strain out crocodile crap from the Nile. I don't know. I do not know these things. I'm not a scientist. I'm not an engineer. Uh, let's see what this looks like on the outside. <laughs> Drew a little Katya there, didn't I? I know I did. <laughs> I love her. Uh, mythic tarot what's going on on the outside that you need to be aware of that could be that is directly connected to this but you know this could be how you appear sometimes we don't know how we appear to people or just something you need to be aware of connected to this and the yang of course the divine masculine i call them my gods you get the idea brave because this is zeus for me please uh my beloved gods of fire and the sign of sagittarius zeus in particular or any of the gods of fire and Sagittarius that wish to contribute. What does the Sagittarian collective sun, moon, rising, Venus sign watching this video need to know, need to be aware of outside of themselves, this new moon in Sagittarius, their new moon to the full moon next in Cancer. Considering the angels, they need to call to the angels of retreat, tactical retreats, does not feel like a disempowering retreat. Uh, they need to work with that energy of amber, and amber is a fire, so it's a firestone. It's just funny. If you know me, you know why that's funny. Uh, but it's a very powerful stone. Okay, jet and amber are the necklace that they give to high priestesses in most traditional covens, and it's very, very ancient. So they say, I mean, who knows? They didn't have YouTube. Um, but yeah, they've even found like amber and, and jet necklaces uh, in, in archaeological digs. So, uh, so they, they've got that, my gods, and then they got that Virgo stuff going on on the inside, that healing. What do they really need to be aware of in the outside, in the yang, this new moon to full moon next? All right, justice. All right, so there is something going down, something legal, something that was unfair, that is being made fair. Uh, maybe it's karmic. Maybe it's just scripted in the quantum that things come into a balance, but that is Major Arcana card. So... You, you want to know something? This is very out of character for, um, for a Scorpio, but it's almost like the vibe I'm getting is pull back, make some popcorn and watch, right? It's like this may, yes, you may be involved, but I don't know how much this has to actually do with you, but it is something that affects you. Um, I, I just wonder how much, because that thing of pull back and purification, there's so, that like, it's, it may be triggery as fuck for you um fire signs that they are i mean look fire signs are supposed to have hair triggers it's fire right then like earth we're like it takes a while have a chocodile uh so i kind of like this it's almost like the external is all about this larger uh karmic spiritual and perhaps very much physical balance 
that you would have to pull back and retreat from to maybe experience that justice, see it from another perspective. But it's really more about your own internal occupation and your own healing. Now, I don't mean occupation, what you do for a living. Um, I guess you could say you're in on your own internal work, your own internal healing process here. But this might be something you need not to verbalize, right? Like, even if it's say, like it kind of said in the card, it's like, you don't have to like talk about this. You don't have to let express those feelings verbally to people. But I think it's so important that we not repress these things, particularly in 2020, right? It's been such a year of frustration and and feeling like our dreams are dashed and, and our lives will never be the same and they won't, but they will be better. That's kind of the point of the crucible. That's kind of the point of, <laughs> of alchemy, right? It's led to gold, not like, I don't know, led to shit. <laughs> What's the point? What's the point? Let's ask your higher selves. The higher selves of all involved through the whispers of both Oracle, fifth dimension, and above. Breathe. Yes, indeed. Uh, the higher selves of all involved for the Sagittarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm watching this video, please. What is the whisper of love? The piece of information inspiration or insight that they need from their higher selves this new moon in Sagittarius their new moon to this full moon next in Cancer December 2020 They're, they need to call upon the angel of retreat they need to work with that energy of amber they need to go within with that Virgo card inside it's like Virgo Virgo it's like inside and inside deeper right uh, to occupy themselves with their healing or to serve in some way inside of themselves maybe through prayer uh, and they need to be aware of that justice energy here, that it is major arcana. And that's the goddess Athena, by the way. You really don't want to cross her. And I don't think you are. I think she's, I don't want to say on your side, but watching, so to speak, that thing of balance with law. And maybe it's not man's law. I hate saying that people's law, human law, feels more like it's uh, sort of divine law oriented. So please, higher yourselves of all involved. I know he just threw me a kicker there. Send it back around if you want me to. I didn't see what it was. What do they need? What, what do they need from their higher this new moon to full moon next? Whispers of love. Oracle, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. And I think this is what this retreat is about. It's going to give you the space and the time that you need to remain compassionate and loving and patient, right? That's what I feel like. You might be very frustrated with somebody because they said they're going to do something and they're not right? That there's a hidden agenda attached to it also isn't great. So how can you have patience if you don't have all the information? Just watch that image of, of a Sagittarian sitting in a corner with popcorn. Just like, oh, no, I'm fine. Thanks. No, you knock yourselves out, right? Give them enough rope. I just heard give them enough rope and they'll hang themselves. Uh, hopefully not literally, right? It is an intense year. We don't need any of that. I mean, enough going on on planet earth. So have patience. Again, not necessarily <laughs> Sagittarian bailiwick. You can always depend on me at Drawing the Circle Productions to give you very wordy phrases because, my God, if you met my family, <laughs> if you met my family, we're just very verbal people, except for those Scorpios who don't talk. So uh, let's look at this. The Healing Mantra deck. Last card down, right? So we've got three oracles, right? We've got two tarot. Here is the healing system. What is your perfect healing mantra from the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn? Let's ask the Ascended Masters. They seem to know everything. Breathe. Mm. My Ascended Masters. It is just changing channels for me at this point. Can we please have one card in clarity? The perfect healing mantra for the Sagittarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs this new moon. And Sagittarius, their new moon for the year. Yay! to full moon next in Cancer 2020 with this retreat card and Amber and Virgo and Justice and have patience. What is the healing mantra that they really need to work with? I'll take this one. This new moon to full moon next. Oh, very cool. It ends on a very, very high note. Receiving elation. Uh, I am born of infinite joy. This is about you really having your own interior landscape and atmosphere of uh, uh, this Virgo thing, your own pure experience of things, regardless of what everybody else is going on 
uh, are, are, are doing around you now if you have the empathic piece going on like not every look, social empathy is very different psychological empathy is very different than intuitive empathy if you define yourself as a divine feminine this might very well be about pulling yourself back because you are feeling what other people are feeling and just not sure if it's you or them so that's one thing that would be really helpful i have a feeling though with receiving elation that this is going to really turn out to your benefit right even the card of amber said that there is a blessing that there's a gift in this somewhere so let's see let's see what the bookie book says oh i do love the little bookie books it's better than having to you know call people and say what did you mean by that Oh, it would be nice if I remembered the alphabet. Receiving elation. I am born of infinite joy, which, by the way, is true of all of us. When elation is received, joy becomes your natural state of being. Now, not all the time, right? It's like, it's, the, you know, let me keep going. In elation, you are aligning with the ecstatic nature of the universe to live each moment with renewed passion and purpose, which, by the way, indicates that the universe has a passionate nature, an ecstatic Nature, okay, I want to align with that. If that's our true nature, if that's what we're born from, okay, I want a slice of that. Uh, elation helps you enjoy your human journey as it is right now without projecting your fulfillment onto the anticipation of future pending outcomes. So it might be that a lot of your frustration might be dependent upon what other people said they're going to do or they're doing and they're not, or they're not doing it the right way or something like that. And so this is about you maintaining your joy. Now, of course, if it's the holidays, right? So that, that just in and of itself. We're not having the same usual holidays we always do. I mean, even though I'm like driving up to see my family and we're all in quarantine, like everybody for like weeks ahead of time because we've been in lockdown since February, pretty much. February, March. So, you know, and my parents are older, so we go and visit, but we all know it's going to be different. Like I said, I'm going to have an ionizer on and a mask, and I'm going to be sprayed with antiseptic. You're staying the fuck away from me, but I love you. <laughs> Here's your gift. <laughs> Throw it across the room. But so that we can receive elation with this, particularly if you're somebody who the holidays this time of year is really uh, big for you. This mantra is ideal for increasing the flow of creative inspiration, which you very well may need in all of this, which also speaks to that amber energy. Elevating the immune system. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> do, that's enough. That's enough reason to do the mantra. And being more present, which is more Sagittarian, right? I'm like, where is the real Sagittarian vibe in this read? And it is that. It's like, right? Oh, isn't that like retreat? And wait for the balance to... <laughs> Let's give you the blessing. I'll put it all together for you. Take a nice deep breath. Breathe. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. May the Sagittarian collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and be blessed with all that they need. This new moon in Sagittarius, their new moon to the full moon next in Cancer, December 2020, that they may work with that amber energy they need while they take this internal time to occupy themselves with their own healing that they need as they watch this situation of justice play itself out that needs to happen while they have patience right being patient and kind always to themselves in this process so that they can be patient and kind with others while they receive elation with the mantra they need i am born of infinite joy calling in the angel of retreat to take that time, that space, that rest and that breath that they need to do, to de-escalate their own, uh, their own inflammation in their nervous system and to have more fun and more joy in this holiday season for their well-being and for the well-being of all concerned. So will it be. And so it is. What a joy. I think I may be receiving some elation for doing this reading for you a bit my Sagittarian sun moon rising Venus signs if you liked the video if something clicked for you please thumbs up if you want more and you're not a subscriber please subscribe because we have so much good stuff coming particularly over the holidays I'm changing up my reading schedule of what I'm doing when I'm going to do a lot of year-end stuff, and I'm good at that. I'm really good at that, apparently. Um, and uh, by all means, please comment. What are you retreating from? Why would you need to retreat? Because I'd like to know. Anyway, wishing you all the very best and the very blessed of this new moon in Sagittarius to full moon next in Cancer, my darling Saggies. Hey, Farewell, and blessed, blessed be.